I learned to play music when I was um, three years old. I started playing a recorder. I grew up without a TV when I was a kid, so um, yeah, playing music and reading books was what we did at home. I learned the guitar when I was um, 21. I got one for my 21st birthday. I taught myself how to play it from Bob Marley's songbooks. The first song I learnt on the guitar was Time Will Tell, because it's only got two chords. And I was stuck at home for sort of months on end. I couldn't walk properly and I was in a lot of pain. And I got this guitar and I'd learned how to, you know, taught myself how to play it. And a friend suggested that I write a song. It just perfectly combined words and music, which are the two things I've always loved, because I've always loved poetry. And um, I just found that I just suddenly had this revelation that I was a songwriter. I was in London and um, I was at a sort of bit of a bit of a crossroads in my life, I suppose, actually a bit of a crisis point. I got on a plane and went to went to Australia, which which was quite a brave thing for me to do because this was going out to stay in a farm in, in the Australian bush and I was absolutely petrified of snakes. I'd come from living in Camden Town, you know, there's sirens every two seconds and and this, this place, there were no traffic lights, there was no concrete, it was just beautiful. The shack is, it's made out of recycled wood, tin and potato sacks and you've got, it's built on three massive tree trunks. We have a family of mice that live in our piano, got a family of huntsman spiders who are massive rainforest hairy spiders who live in the bathroom and uh, it's pretty unconventional, it's boiling hot in summer, freezing cold in winter, I absolutely love it. I became a cheesemaker because we needed money to make my second album and so I'd spend, I'd spend half the week um, stirring milk and cutting curd and washing up, a lot of washing up um, and the rest of the week run, we were running the record label that we'd set up and, um, and I was writing songs. Well, I've just made my third album and um, it's coming out uh, in November, November the 16th. I'm really excited about it. On this new album I'm playing piano for the first time and um, it's strange actually because the piano was really my first main instrument. I started it when I was four years old. I was classically trained on the piano and so I was blind without the music there. I could play you a piece of Mozart or Beethoven or something, but I couldn't I couldn't really improvise. So that's something that I've I've been, you know, learning these last few years. I felt I felt like Keep Walking was a step forward from Stranger Place and now Believe is another quite a big step forward in terms of the sound. It's it's very different having the electric guitar on there now and um, but it's still got these big string arrangements which I can't help myself but but, but write for the songs because it just I love writing string parts and um, it's only when I come to record all the cello and viola parts and I'm cursing myself and wondering why I didn't just have have a violin solo it would make it a whole lot easier to do but the sound in the end is is exactly how I want I want those songs to sound. Believe is um, going to be, well it's available now <laughs> to pre-order before the release date um, and uh, you can order it through my website uh, emilymaguire.com